is Stephanie Manley with copycat.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make freezer biscuits. Now I am sure, just like you, I've walked through the freezer section and found large packages of biscuits that all you did was have to cook them and you could have biscuits whenever you wanted. Well, you know what? We can make this at home and I'm going to show you how to make these biscuits. We're going to go ahead and mix up our biscuit dough here. Then we are going to cut them all out. Then we're going to take them and freeze them. And then whenever we get ready, we can just take a couple out of the package and cook those whenever you like. So why don't I go ahead and get started with that. So in here, I have four cups of flour. I'm going to add three teaspoons of baking powder to this. And then I'm going to go ahead and add one teaspoon of salt. Okay, and then I'm going to do something a little exciting here. I'm going to use butter in my biscuits, so let me go ahead and show you this neat trick for helping to get the butter into the biscuits. Now, some people like to use shortening, but I really like to go ahead and use butter. I think it has a much better flavor. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to stick this in a plastic bag here. Now, um, some of you may or may not have a rolling pin, but we all have a can. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this butter and flatten it out. So I've gotten this butter all nice and flattened out. And now I'm going to go ahead and add it in to my mixture here. And you're probably wondering why I did that. It is going to make it much easier to go ahead and blend in this butter into this mixture. Now that it's all nice and flattened out, it's a larger surface area. So let me go ahead and take my pastry blender here and work this in. Now if you don't have a pastry blender, you can use a fork. You can use your hands. It's going to take just a couple of minutes to get this all nice and blended. So now that I have all of the butter incorporated in here, it looks almost like sand and there's some little bits of butter that are about pea size, that's just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my milk in. And I don't know if you knew this, but sometimes, depending upon how humid it is, your batter may take just a little bit less or a little bit more milk. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with one and a quarter cup. I may need to add just a little bit more. I'm gonna stir this in. And then we're gonna roll out these biscuits and we're not gonna pop them in the oven. We're actually gonna pop them on our freezer instead. Okay, so I just poured this dough out on my board and I've just kind of pushed it out to where it's about one half an inch. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and take my biscuit cutter and cut these rounds and I'm going to just put them on my cookie sheet. You should get about 12, two, two and a half inch size biscuits here, and we're gonna put them in the freezer. So after I cut these biscuits out, I've placed them in the freezer for a couple of hours, and you can see they're nice and hard right now. So now all I need to do is go ahead and put them in my bag. Now when you get ready to cook these biscuits, cook them at 475 degrees for about 8 to 10 minutes and you will have wonderful golden brown biscuits. So we just made our freezer biscuits. They were really easy to do and now you can have hot biscuits anytime you like. Please be sure to go ahead and subscribe to this channel and give this video a big thumbs up and leave me a comment in the box below of what you'd like to see next.